Hello everyone and welcome back to Gore. So we're still on the bridge of the River Tye and we're just trying to get these uh, last few um, bits of the stone we're going to get from the furnaces here. Um, so I do know where the last one is if you've not gone to it yet. So you speak to the frog um, and then you basically need your flame ranks and to activate all of these. So after you've taken them to his house, speak to him again. And then it gives you a basically thing when all these need turning on. So get your flame rangs out and you basically just need to hit them um, and then I'll activate. I've only got one left to do. Uh, before we go around activating all the others, uh, I'm trying to think of the best way around to do this actually, because um, you do need to do some other bits. Now I'll, uh, we'll do it this way around first. So if you jump up here, on here, so you just come back out the area, um, jump up, there was a cog on that tree, I've already got it. You jump onto this platform and you basically just activate these as you go around. So you just want to hit it with a flame rang and it would activate. Obviously, man's already activated, so it's not going to do it again. But for the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to show you where I go. Okay, you do the same again there. Right, and then what you want to do is jump off and into the water, and there's um, a button you need to activate. So if you follow this round to the right, just about here, there's a blue button there, just so you can see where I am on the map. So just in this bottom left corner. You have a look there, and then you want to activate this. What that button does, because I've already got it activated, so if I hit it, it's going to do not. Um, that, uh, not that platform, where's the other platform? The other side of this tree, it normally comes around to. So you've normally got a still platform doing nothing on the other side of this tree, and there it is. Uh, moving around now, so when you activate that button, it activates this tree here, so just near the start. I'm going to need to wait for that to come back around. I think if you are, if you aim it right, you can probably get that one by jumping and doing that. If you if you hit select take it till it and come around, and you can get the one from the other side because I uh, fell off the platform for messing about doing something else. So, and you can definitely get that one from that side. But so let's come around. Um, if you need the cog under the bridge as well, activate that button. Is how you get it. So uh, just be aware of that. Same platform as it just does a big journey, which is why it takes a long to come around. But yes, the same button if you need the cog on the bridge. Yeah, so just same again here. Uh, that I'd have hit the thing there, but you know, you get the idea, you're walking it and activating it. Okay, so that's going to give us five. Yeah, that's five. Right, and that'll be six, literally just off the side of it. So as you come across, and you've got one up there and another one across here. So I'm going to do it bit by bit first. So there's another platform you need to activate if we come back around this way. I'm doing this on the switch, it's easy to get on from the ground, but if you haven't activated the platform yet, you do it from up here, so. What you're probably best doing either way, to be fair, is just, uh, so there's normally a platform attached to here, you want to destroy that, so just hit it with your arm, Ooh. and that will destroy and drop to the ground and it'll start doing a little current, there's normally a couple of like, um, collectible eggs you can get there, but rather than going down and getting my, just, uh, that, that finished just yet, because that's my last one, there is one around here, so there's a like, mini boss here, um, and then you just activate this one, oh, didn't know he was there, can't grab him now. I'm still missing one. Okay, I'll find him. Um, and this platform here is uh, how you get to the last one. So the last one's just up here on our left. Ah, uh, nearly time I saw well. It's just up there. It's the last one, so I'll uh, make sure I get up to it. Um, there's also two uh, other dodos. Can't remember what they are now. Um, Basically, general birds which steal the eggs, there's two up there, but once you catch one of them with your teeth, careful because it'll pass it on to the next one, so you want to keep an eye on both of them um, and try to bite them both at the same time if you can, because you just simplifies uh, it all for you. Right, so just let this uh, cycle back around. Do, 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 do.
There we go, get up here, and this is the last one. Boom. No shocking shot, but that worked fine. It's 8 out of 8. And then I think we just need to go back around to where the thing is, and then um, we can complete it. So it's just the arc rang and the flame rangs that you need. Let's just head back around, and I believe it should be enough. Don't know if he gives it to you or if it pushes out the head or what, to be honest. I can't remember. Well, I know I'm playing in the HD version now, but the last time I played it when I was a kid, so. I've done it before, I just can't remember what it was. Superb, he gives us that. And that's. Oh, no, it's a cog up there. I don't know why I thought there were a thing on there. Right, okay. I need to work out how to get up there. Can I just run up? Oh, you can. Ah, oh, sweet, that's simple. So if you are wanting that one, guys, just run up to it. <laughs> don't be in them nuts like me. <laughs> don't much appreciate it at all. I do appreciate any feedback. If you can drop a like, a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos.